Welcome to this, the fourth video in the Ranarec Studio Report series, Introduction to Customizing Reports. The on-screen image illustrates the process that prepares raw data to be displayed in an easily readable format in the report. During the test run, the report engine collects data in an XML format. The report engine converts this data to HTML. Renorex Studio displays this HTML-based report with its built-in HTML viewer. To start customizing, we need to begin by creating a custom template. We start by clicking on the test suite. We then use the context menu, select properties, select the report tab and click on the create custom template. You receive a message to alert you to the fact that a new report template folder has been created. Click OK and click OK again. To rename the template, simply click on the folder and right mouse click Rename. Type the new name and hit Enter. The CSS, XSL and image files are contained within the folder. These let you customize your report. PNG file is the Ranarex logo. The preview files allow you to easily see customizations. To add a file to the report, simply paste the file into the folder. Here we have the Frog Consulting logo. We then need to select View and Properties. Ensure that the Copy to Output directory is set to Always. If we want to include the logo and change the colour of the report, we will need to open the CSS file and scroll down to the very bottom. To allow report customization, please delete the entire line, uncomment to customize report. To change the colour, enter your desired hex value. Enter the height and width of your logo image in pixels and the name of your logo image file. Finally, to ensure the top margin is correct, enter the command as shown on screen. Close the file and click Save. When we look at the report preview, we see that the color has changed and the logo has been added. You can change the report messaging format. A success message is by default green, but let's change it to blue and make it bold. To do so, find the tr.success command in the CSS file, copy it and paste it into the customization section. We change the color to blue and below that add a font weight. If we run the test, we see that the successful validation is now both bold and blue. Replacing computer endpoint with user name. You will note that the text at the top right of the report is currently computer endpoint and sample host. We want to change this. To do so, we begin by opening the viewRx log data file and change sample user to Kermit. We then open the XSL file and replace computer endpoint with frog user and change at host to at user. So Ranarex knows to pull the information we have just entered in the dot data file. We now see that frog user Kermit is responsible for creating the report. There are many options for customizing reports. For more details, please see the user guide, a link to which can be found in this video's description. In the next video in the Ranarex Studio reporting series, we will learn how to convert reports to other data types.